Hey guys, another casual video today. I'm just going to show you my A5 Traveller's Notebook Art Journal. This is a leather cover that I bought from the Etsy shop Meadowgate Leather. The owner is called Mike and he's absolutely fantastic to work with. Um, he's got some fabulous Traveller's Notebooks and all at very reasonable prices, I highly recommend. This was actually my first ever Traveller's Notebook and it was super super cheap, I think it was less than £30 uh, it doesn't have any pockets, it doesn't have any stitching other f other than for this pen loop here um, and it's in this gorgeous colour, unfortunately Mike doesn't do this colour anymore this was called Kelly Green but he does do a different type of green this is the logo that is stamped on the back, it says Meadowgate Leather, handmade in England and it's got a little gate in the middle of it One of the things that I love so much about it is that it's got this gloss to it. A lot of Traveller's Notebooks are more matte and I really like how glossy it is. So the inside is just nude, it's not painted and I quite like it. It's, um, it's relatively soft actually on the inside although it looks quite rough. And the first insert that I have in here um, I decorated myself. It's a Harry Potter insert. This is a a piece of scrapbook paper that I got from the website Sunshine Scrapbooking. I've mentioned them before in a previous video. And this also is from the same website, this scrapbook in here this scrapbook paper here. And I've washi taped it. This is a sticker from the same website. And this is a die cut from the same website as well, HP for Harry Potter and the Harry Potter font. And this insert is basically one of my um, goals for this year was to start reading and complete the first Harry Potter book, which I actually did on the, I think it was the first day of January. And I continued to read the rest of the books. Um, and I wanted to just log my reading, I wanted to make little notes about it because I'm such a huge Harry Potter fan, I always have been um, and I was finally getting around to reading the books after all this time so um, I decided to log it and I'll just show you briefly what it looks like so I wrote what book I was reading when I've completed the book I took an instant photograph of it and put the dates at the bottom and then I just wrote little notes about every book that I'd read. See I wrote here that by the, by the end of the fourth book I hated Fudge, one of the characters. I wrote little summaries. And yeah, so that's that insert, the first insert that I just keep in there. This is a clear plastic zipper insert I like to just keep instant photographs here that's a picture of Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them this is a lovely little camera paper clip from Izzy and Daisy shop and this is just the inside of it so this is my actual art journal notebook. It's a A5 Midori plane and I've spoken about it before. I absolutely love the paper that's inside. I highly recommend it if you're looking for an A5 journal with plain pages. This here is what I use for a bookmark but it's actually a friendship bracelet that my boyfriend bought for me in Spain. I decorated this cover myself with various different scrapbook papers mostly from Hobbycraft and some of my favourite washi tape, this black and white striped washi tape. And you've already seen flip throughs of this and if you haven't you can check them out on my channel. But it's just where I practice my watercolours. And people have been asking me why is there so much space on the pages? Is it because I'm going to use this for notes? And I've also spoken about that but I'm actually going to use this as a Dear Diary type journal once I've finished the pages and once I'm happy with it. Once I've also finished my standard size traveller's notebook I'll be moving into this and using this as a journal. So at the moment I'm really just 
prepping pages with watercolours and stamps and drawings and doodles. So that's that insert. I've got a long way to go yet before it's finished. That's how much I've got left. I've not decorated the back yet as you can see. And that this is here, you can see how it's bound together. It's stitched together which is always nice. And at the back here, this is the other side of the zipper insert. I've started to kind of set this up for when I've got my El Raher Harry Potter Custom Traveller's Notebook. So that's why there's a couple of Harry Potter things in here. So this is my Harry Potter passport that I got at the studio tour when I visited. That's just an instant photo that I've slotted in there. I've also got... This stick with some sample wash tapes on it from uh, the Etsy shop called Cute Things from Japan, one of my favourite Etsy stores. I've also got some photographs and a sticker. This last insert here is one that I made and it's in the size B6. I wanted to just um, cut down a notebook to see if I like the size for myself so I just used some scrapbook paper and some plain papers. And I actually really like the size, it's basically just a smaller version of the A5. I quite like square notebooks rather than more narrow ones, so I do quite like the size, but for now I'm going to stick with A5. And another thing that I forgot to mention that I love so much about this Meadowgate notebook is it's actually got a, I suppose it's a brand, is that what you'd call it, a branding here? where the leather makers have just marked marked it on the back and I quite like that, I think it just makes my traveller's notebook a little bit more unique and this is the, the pen loop, I decided to go for a pen loop although I don't actually often use pens in it I tend to just put the elastic round and keep the pen there because it's a, quite a narrow pen loop but as you can see my notebook is bulging by the seams, so I'm very excited for my Elra Her Leather Custom notebook to arrive because I've specifically asked that it's a little bit wider so that it can accommodate this very thick Midori notebook. So that is my flip through, look through, whatever you want to call it, um, of my A5 Medigate Traveller's notebook. Thank you all very much for watching. And check out my other videos if you like this one. Thanks very much for watching guys. Bye.